My story was that I was not physical. I was not athletic. I was not strong. And really, my life kind of reflected that. Now, if I was talking about spiritually or mentally or emotionally strong, yes. But my body, no. And I really bought into that story. Being strong belonged in someone else's story. Then four years ago, everything changed. Actually, my fourth year anniversary was on Sunday, December 29th. And um, I'm really reshaping myself, both internally and externally. And as I'm doing that, I'm reshaping the story that I tell about myself and my experience in life. You know, if I'm walking up to a stage and it's a foot and a half or two feet tall, I just put my foot up and I step up onto it. All these farmer carries, I'm now able to kind of lift my suitcase pretty much easily. Not too long ago, Phil and I did a hike up Bearwalla Mountain. I didn't have to stop once to um, catch my breath or to rest. Just going right up there. I have joined the ranks of those physically fit. But, <laughs> thank you. But you know, I found that even as we root out these false stories that we're telling ourselves, we also have to contend with all the stories that our culture tells us. All the things that we take for true. A big one of those is that as we age, our bodies are going to deteriorate. Now, you can get out and walk, we hear, or maybe your diet can be a little bit better. You can take some drugs, some kind of prescription drugs, and, you know, maybe you'll get through it. But basically, the bottom line is, well, you're just going to be going downhill, and that's just the way it is. That is an untrue story. 